As you walk <clears> through here, you'll see you can get all kinds of short circuits in here that causes epilepsy. All of these neurons can function differently, but let me walk you out to the back here. Okay. Because over here, a lot of action happens. Here you have the temporal lobe, that's hearing. Gotcha. Up here is eyesight, the very back of your brain. Oh, right there, right. yeah. And at the bottom here, the cerebellum, which is for balance. That's right in the back of your head here. So these are all like motor skills. Well, things. think about yeah. them. You have hearing, eyesight, and the cerebellum, and they all work, if they coordinate, to balance us. Right. Now, right, you can see, that's good. You can hear, that's good. But you need to use both and your cerebellum to be able to stand on one foot. Now, you try this. Wow. Lift on one foot, that close your eye. Oh, that's, that's hard. Scary. Oh, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> and you close your eyes. You, you, you should do this at home too. It's, it's exercise. Right. You begin to realize that your eyesight, which is your best sense, right, 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 is, un, is, our, is a unique human process. Interestingly, dogs. We talk about both have pets, right? Dogs don't use their eyesight as much as they use their smell and their hearing. Smell is the first, right, yes. for them. So right. we go. We see, then we hear, then we smell. Dogs smell, smell hear, then, right. then see. So when we try to talk to dogs that, like they're humans. They don't get it. They don't get it. And they don't get us either because we we're opposites. We have to, have to work like we're dogs to communicate with dogs. Good thing I always smell like good food. That's why my dog loves yes. me. <laughs> There's lots of reasons. They love you.